Hi there! Today we're showing you pro tips for steaming milk on a La Spaziale S1 Vivaldi 2 or any comparable machine. Let's get started. So the Vivaldi 2 is a dual boiler machine, meaning we can brew and steam at the same time, a feature also available on heat exchange systems. So this model in particular has a four hole steam tip, which is really nice for being able to create very consistent micro foam. What we're going to do is completely submerge our steaming pitcher so all four holes are submerged and then pull back a little bit. So just about two of them are exposed and this will create a slight shushing noise, also known as aerating or creating micro foam. We want to aerate for whatever amount of time it takes for you to create the amount of microphone necessary for the drink you're making. For a latte, this tends to be one to three seconds. After that, you're going to resubmerge all the way, and I like to give the pitcher a little bit of a tilt so that it starts creating a cyclone action and sucking the bigger bubbles into the center of your steaming pitcher. Another good pro tip is anchoring your spout onto this tip of the steaming pitcher so that it stays nice and steady. I like to hold on with one hand here and also make sure I feel the temperature with my other hand. Once it gets hot to the touch, I tend to wait one to two more seconds and then we're getting up to 140, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's proper temperature for a latte and that's when I like to stop. So let's go ahead and show you that in action. First, by purging the water out of our steam wand. Starting by submerging that steam tip all the way, powering on our steam wand, pulling down so it's slightly exposed, creating about three seconds of aeration here, completely submerging, tilting my pitcher to create that aeration. We have that nice cyclone action going on, which is sucking our bigger bubbles into the center. Hot to the touch, wait a second and completion. Make sure you always purge your steam wand immediately after and wipe it down with a wet towel. You don't wanna leave any extra milk residue on there as it could get soaked back into your steaming boiler. So there you have it. At the end, this is what your microfoam should look like, almost like the consistency of wet paint. So I hope you were able to learn something new here today about steaming milk on your machine. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After that, head on over to MajestyCoffee.com to check out some of the best deals in the industry on machines like the S1 Vivaldi 2 and many more. Our friendly customer support team is standing by via live chat or phone to help you make the right decision. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.